it's, it's called a pattern interrupter. You want to you want to beam in and you know surprise people right yeah yes yes you do and, and you always surprise us because you're always doing something <laughs> different you're never beamed in from this is what's great though we're beaming in from anywhere just like star trek right yeah <laughs> so welcome how's your day it's funny how you're mentioned about uh, brushing your teeth and like um I fall asleep on my couch a lot, right? Okay. And um, sometimes I force myself to wake up and brush my teeth. But the problem is that I can't fall back to sleep. So what I end up doing is a lot of times I'll just brush it like at four in the morning, right? <laughs> so my, my sleep is more important, right? <laughs> But I got this electric toothbrush and it does all the work for me. <laughs> <laughs> Except you gotta hold it. This is what I tell yeah. you. I have one too. You gotta hold. But I still have. I like my old-fashioned toothbrushes, and I keep one in my purse wherever I go. I, I keep a toothbrush, and I got one in my backpack too, in kit. So it's just not my accessory bag; it's my backpack too. But um. I have this goal that I want to, when I get really, really old and when I die, they're going to go, wow, she only had that one cabin. Um, that's my mission. But it, the, uh, I agree with you. When I brush my teeth, I wake up. So how do we, and, and I always want to, you know, if you an electric toothbrush, you still got to stand there and hold it, right? Why can't we get a mouth that kind of goes in your mouth and it does everything while you do No, there is. I'm serious. Is there? Is there one? I'll find it. Yeah, you just put it in and it brushes for you. Wow. wow. <laughs> Does it talk fall? about lazy? The lazy <laughs> man's <laughs> tooth. Yeah. Kim, that is what Bluetooth is all about, basically. You need to have that Bluetooth in, in your mouth and it will work like this. All right. That's, I mean, that would be fun to have. A, so I have, like I told you, the things that my dentist made for me for my whiteners many years ago, right? They fit my teeth perfectly mold of my teeth and and everything so i i still have the mold but um but no that's cool you got a helicopter yeah it's it's spying on us wow okay i thought helicopters disappeared once uh, well, this, uh where i'm at right now, i'm on this old marine base oh this uh, used to be a marine base i'm i'm on um let me see if you can see the hangar what do they do with old military bases? Wow. Yeah, they build houses on them. Do they? Wow. Yeah, way, you can't sway back there. There's a huge hangar. Can you see that okay. big structure? Yes, yeah, yeah. big structure. But the, wow. they, used to, they used to keep helicopters there in Vietnam. Yeah. That's, That's where cool. uh, the Zeppelin, the, the Goodyear blimp gets maintenance there. That's how big it is. Wow. Wow, that is cool. That is cool. I didn't know that. So, yeah, I keep forgetting sometimes we close down military bases, and then what do you do with them, right? You're, Look, this um, is the only bridge. This is the only suspension bridge in all of Orange County, right behind my home. This bridge. Oh, cool. Okay. There's my home. See the white one? Yes. Wow. See the pine trees, the tip of them? Yes. Yeah. The cypress trees, right? Yes. I, I, I put a row of them right there. See that? Oh, look at your neighborhood. Oh, you can see beautiful. the top. Oh. My, uh, beautiful. My Kim, exercise that's rig, perfectly, you see uh, that? That's a good, uh, that's a good uh, place to bicycle. Is it? What a yeah, beautiful perfect. place. So do you have, uh, are you, you it's a uh, property? It's not zero property. You have property. Well, this is our home, right? It's beautiful. I don't really. Uh, the only real estate I, I own is my house, but I know that I need to start learning real estate because I got killed on taxes, and real estate's a perfect tax vehicle, right? Yeah. True. I guess uh, you get tax-free benefits. But the problem with real estate, you got you have to keep investing it, right? Yes. 
to get the yeah. tax write off. So it's never end. Once you start, it can't stop. Is that, it's is that a, how it works? Yeah. Yes, it's it's a, it's a it's circle. A, I've taken the classes. It's a circle. It's a, yeah, you have to keep on uh, digging and going and going back like that only. And you have to show something here. So, um, I forgot I forgot my key, right? Oh. Uh, and to open my garage, I have to press the garage door opener. So, here's how I open my car. I got an app. I might okay. have to, and I can open my Tesla from my app. Isn't that cool? That's wow. cool. So you don't. You don't need a key. That you see the car right now. We uh, okay. Kim, we know about cashless, and now we know about keyless as well. <laughs> but you have to have a test one. You see how it popped yeah. open the, the door handle? Well, you went blank on us. You blacked out. All right. What it's happened? Black, it's a black day. It, it's blackout day. So, uh, there you go. So you got yeah. into your Tesla. And then you open up the house through the Tesla, right? Yeah, so this handle, uh, it pops open when I press Touch open. It. And I can open the garage. Wow. That's wonderful. Yeah. I We have a car that does the same thing. Um, I'm, I'm a little leery of it because if the key fob is in the vicinity and someone else comes by and touches it, they can open it. So you have to, there's yeah. a distance limit. I think Tesla has approved it, right. it. Yeah, you have to time it right. Uh, because people had figured that out, and so people had their key fobs in the house, and people would walk by and just open the door and go in and steal all your stuff. They figured out that, um, so your key fob has to be at a certain distance, so people can't do that. Well, it's, yeah, you know, I got to, um, I decided I could I got to get out more cuz I'm a workaholic and um and the kids are getting older I'm like man I'm losing all this time with them so I'm going to I'm going to buy a a kayak and it's going to be a, a a tandem so two people could sit in there and you can fish on your kayak Okay so I got to get a rack to put it on my car and I could you know take it to the there's a uh there's the bay by the ocean we could fish there in the bay so it even you can even go to the ocean too kayaks are fun swimming any kind of water sport is fun right yeah i need to um get get that stuff to be more active and how about the yacht uh, dr you no i'm not at that point yet so. okay a yacht. Um, yeah. the, so, how to share with us how old your children are? Because it does get challenging as they get older. You well, guys um, share with us. The son just turned sixteen, but we're not going to let him have a car yet. He doesn't really need one, right? Right. right. A car is a big responsibility for a sixteen-year-old. I mean, you know, I I told him if you want to get a license, you have to pay for your insurance. And your gas, so you gotta. I'll probably have to work for me and do social media. You know. There you go. Yeah, and then I'll. But you know, our viewers are asking that uh, Doctor, you look like thirty-five. How can uh, a kid is sixteen? <laughs> no, no, I have my wrinkles. So, you see my grass-fed butter. Oh yes, okay. yeah, Irish butter, Irish, Irish butter, Kerry gold. Yeah, so love it. Here's how I make my bulletproof coffee. You get front row seat. Irish butter with coffee. I I, I want to have that uh, recipe. Doctor yeah, Hughes. So I'm teaching you now. This is showing it to you right now. This is today's show. How to make stem cell stimulating butter coffee. All right. Wow. This is healthy uh, for you. This is uh. Can I? Kerry gold. I buy Kerry gold too. So yeah, how how much butter, uh, Doctor Hughes? Hundred gram is good enough. So what is that? Brain octane. You know, super oil. concentrated um, coconut oil. Coconut oil. But it's super concentrated. You can't but it's not water. It's oil, right? It's the coconut oil. It's yeah, but it's really it's MCT, but on steroids. You know, it's <laughs> very <laughs> highly so concentrated. Yeah. So your son's 16, and how old is your daughter? Uh, 13. Okay. So that that's uh, some difficult age groups to to be juggling in this day and time. Well, the, the, 
the son is more gentle spirited. He's uh, you know, he generally does what you say. All right. The daughter's totally rebellious. I mean, you know, talks back, sassy, and especially when she has you know, that time of the month because that's kicking in. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta deal with two that time of the month. You know, if you know what I mean. Yes. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they're at the stage, especially her, where you know it's not cool to hang out with your parents. It's all about hanging out with your friends, right? So when we want to do something, they don't want to do it. Like last year, we went to Hawaii, and it's like they were crying the whole time. Oh, we want to be with our friends. Like, guys, this is one of the most beautiful places on earth. You got to enjoy it. So I think we're past past that stage of like family trips where everyone's excited, which is right. sad. So um, that is sad. I've been I used to love the trips, but you're right. They, and you know what's funny is, is you'll get back home and you'll ask them, why aren't you going out with your friends? Well, you don't have anything to do. Why aren't you going out with your friends? Yeah. I don't have anything to do. Well, I'm bored. We don't have anything to do. Well, we were just in Hawaii. <laughs> All you talked about was being with your friends. I know. There's, it's a difficult age. And we... we, so we get the kayak and, you know, David, he did like fishing, but I didn't, I didn't take him on... You know, fishing trips would take because I'm not a fisher, but I should have did more of that, right? Um, you know, so kind of like the the few years I do have left, I got to maximize that. So, um, that's I kind cool, of though. That's yeah, cool. I kind of enjoyed the slowdown because it's making me, it's forcing me to spend more time. But I just don't want them to be on video games all day or face chat. Um, <laughs> And it, you know, it's hard because we become that example too sometimes, right? That we're, we're at work all the time, and yeah. I'm um, on my we, phone and computer all the time. You know, and it's very, very hard to to establish um, the the why you don't do that. Well, I get paid for it. You know, that's why I used to tell my kids I get paid to do um, to be on the phone all day. So, but I'm glad to see that you are taking a break. You're going out, you're riding a bike, you're drinking something healthy. Um, we're going to watch how this is made. And um, this is good energizing. What else do you put in there? So uh, you know, my secret formula, you got to get, you got to get a, ye a Yeti <laughs> coffee mug. drinker mug. Except the top is missing because that keeps it warm, right? And it doesn't right. spill. Yeah. Let me see if it's in here. The top here is we go. Because here, look, when you put it on, you could drink from the top. Yep. Unscrew this. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so it doesn't spill. Perfect. Yeah. So I I put I melted the butter in the microwave, and this is a Jura coffee maker. And you just put it here. See the glass? So it's a glass measuring cup. Yeah. Now this is the water tank, so I gotta I gotta kind of fill that. So I'll just take my pitcher here. Oh no, I gotta use clean water because I don't I don't <laughs> we're talking about sanitation. I don't wash my blender. Here's why. All right. <laughs> I, I use it every day, right? So what's the rationale of washing that when you're just going to put the same coffee in that the next day? You know, when you put fresh coffee, that'll that'll wash it. I mean, look at that. Because it's hot, right? It's going to come yeah. this way. And there's oil. So in, I mean, there's not going to be any bacteria in there, right? The oil's going to kill it. So we've just learned something, guys. We don't have to clean every day. My you grandmother don't have to brush either. your teeth at night all the time. You can wake up at 3 a.m. and get it done. <laughs> yeah. Are you a 3 a.m. waker? Do you wake up at 3 a.m.? If I'm down at a decent time, yeah, I'm up at like 4. But wow. a lot of times I just lay there. I don't, I don't feel like actually rising up, but I eventually do, and I get a lot of work done, you know. 
Isn't that true? The earlier the morning, the more work I, I could get a whole yeah. day's worth of work done at three or four in the morning. Yeah. And then, so I'm just going to press coffee here. And it's grinding it, right? Oh, yeah. cool. And it comes out. See, it pours out. See it coming out right there. So what kind of coffee are you using? See, see it coming out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what kind and of coffee? Mixing with the butter and the oil. Um, yeah, and it, bullet, it, bulletproof coffee. Let me see. And do you, do you add some milk, milk content as well? What was that? You add some milk as well, milk? No. Uh, no, no milk necessary because the butter provides okay. the cream. Okay. Yeah. That butter is very rich and sweet. Very, oh, the original bulletproof. Okay. And I keep it frozen so it's it's fresh. We're learning how to make coffee. Mama, um, uh, yeah. Or it's mold-free <laughs> coffee too. So I'm gonna um, also combine that with a shot of espresso. I get, a, I get a double dose. See, this grinds in here. Okay. Here's the coffee beans in here, and then here you go. That's amazing. That machine does everything. It grinds the the coffee grounds. It, yeah. it, oh, the smell is incredible. It wakes my <laughs> wife up all the time. I can I I can smell it. You know, coffee, I'm, I'm so glad to hear the more research they're doing, you know, how it's healthy, like the polyphenols and, you know, oh, yeah. the caffeine opens up your bile duct and detoxes you. Yeah, it does. Have you ever seen the Starbucks machine? Not no. the one yeah, in the Starbucks, back, you can see it. Yeah. But the vending oh. machine, they have a Starbucks vending machine. So here I'm um, adding hot water, put hot water in here just to get more volume. Yeah. Right. And then I'll blend it, and then it's, like, so creamy. Oh, so wow. You don't, you don't need milk because the butter is the cream, you know. So how much butter did you put in there? How much was that? Uh, at least a tablespoon, but today I looks like it's a tablespoon and a half. Okay, we embellished. If you want more cream. We worked out. <laughs> It'll foam real good. It's like a latte, right? This there is a go. lot of work for a cup of coffee. <laughs> but that's that worth it. Uh, so. that, that worth it. Yeah, I perfected on a barista. So here, <laughs> wow. Stem cell doctor turned barista. This is stem cell. Yeah, I, I believe that I will be uh, making this coffee after the show. I bet you will. Yeah, and just watch what, the recording. Just, just tell your wife you did. She no, doesn't. Mind. Mind. I, I know what you are doing basically, so I, I can make, uh, I can replicate. Yeah, and blend it. You gotta blend it, right? Okay. How are you holding the camera? That's what I want to know. He's doing all of this with the camera. How are you doing that? That's amazing. So I'm not the it, camera. Look at Someone how else is holding it, I think. Look at how it foams up. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that centimeter foam. That's the That's butter. That's beautiful. And it tastes so great, that first sip. So here we go. I'm going to put it in our container here. So do you add some uh, sugar as well, Dr. You? Oh, that's right. You reminded me. So I almost forgot the most, the spices. The spices. Yeah. So who's holding the camera? Are you doing the camera? Yeah, I hope you're seeing everything. So. I am. I'm impressed. Yeah. Oh my god! Wow. It's my sweetener. It's called Cocoon. Cocoon. It's I've never cocoon. heard of that. It's uh, this is called cinnamon slumber flavor. It's cocoon. a protein powder meant to drink hot at night because you know at night you want to relax your digestive system. So I'll put like almost a half. Almost a third of a scoop. This is my sweetener, and it, there's cinnamon and vanilla flavor with wow. some protein. And I got my cacao, cacao powder. Okay, I'll talk cacao. Cacao is very good for you, right? Chocolate. Yes, yes, it is. I'll put like a teaspoon. Oh wow! Wow. 
and I'll have my uh Thank you. This is like making dinner. What, what is this? What is this, uh, Doctor Yu? What what is that? What is that? Is this salt? Cinnamon. cinnamon. Vietnamese. Vietnamese cinnamon. Yep. So so every brew is a little different, you know. This is like um, making a full meal to me, though. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. I'm going to blend it again. I pour a fresh brown of coffee in my coffee maker. I pour hot water and I put my cup in, and it, that's it. <laughs> I don't pour a little bit of cream. Wow. Wow. There's nothing like it. Now watch it pour in. So how do you, you must have a really good blender for it not to melt when you. It has to be glass off. blender. Glass. A glass blender. Look at that foam up. Isn't that wow. mouth watering? Wow. It's time oh. to take a charter. Uh, uh, Kim, it's time to take a charter to uh, Dr. Yu's home. Oh, that first sip, there's nothing like, look at that foam. Oh my gosh. I can almost taste it. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he made too much. He's got to drink it. And, and so this it. will last me. Sometimes I don't eat all day. I'll eat at like 3 or 4 p.m. So after my 16-hour fat, this is the only thing. This does not break your fast because it's all fat. Right. There. Um, there was a little protein from the the sweetener but not a lot not enough to break your fast i don't think so i just uh i screw it on and if you loosen the top then i could just sip it right yeah like that. yeah and that'll last me give me so much brain energy the whole day i don't get i don't get tired from eating carbs like after you know my friends were eating a donut earlier, right? They're going to be tired later, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, it's but not me because I got my brain octane right here. I know. It's funny you say that. I it's overcast. There's no sun. I know. my real that. cypress trees. See, look it's at beautiful that. Beautiful cypress. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. You've got a beautiful, beautiful place. A lot of property. Yeah, you this is our... Uh, this is our yoga studio right here. That's right. We're going to have to do some more yoga because I felt like I was burning my my 19 pounds off that I put on during COVID. The, um, but, you know, you mentioned something there about when you eat too much, your body tends to burn and get tired and drained. That's why I was talking earlier. I try not to eat a lot while I'm on the show because I don't want to be tired while I'm talking. Yeah, just, uh, just make one of these. I am. I just it'll last you the whole day. There's no chocolate way. in here. There's butter. I mean, coconut, there's cinnamon. There's nothing like it. Coconut oil. Um, um, definitely all the good things that we and taste good. That's the other thing, right? It, it's something that's good for you that tastes good. So what else? Do oh, we have? we have a we have a new pet. We have um. Uh oh. In the ground. You got a what? I can't hear you. Hole. You see the hole? Yes. What are you going to do there? That's a gopher hole. We got a gopher. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they'll ruin your yard. You need to find it. <laughs> it's a gopher. Oh, they, they dig a lot of holes, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll grow families that dig more holes. Haven't you ever seen the movie Caddyshack with Bill Murray? <laughs> yeah, Groundhog Day, yeah. Okay. Or or not Groundhog Day, Caddyshack, right? Where he's chasing the gopher. <laughs> and he's chasing the gopher. So look well, my at daughter you. my daughter thinks it's a pet, so I can't kill it yet. So. Aww. Yeah, little girls can do that, make a pet out of everything. Um, and that, you know, but so you got an overcast uh, day, but it's still a good yeah, day to go ride a bike. It's a nice break, yeah, from the sun. Let's talk about some of the things that, because um, we haven't talked in a, a couple of days about some of the things that you're doing. 
Um, you know, definitely things are going back to work and uh, have they opened up your facilities? Yeah, in fact, um, there was an interview I had yesterday from, there's this famous uh, radio show host called, her name's Joey English, which sounds like a radio show, right? The Joey yeah. English show. So I, I, I drive out to Palm Springs, right? And uh, she gave me a, a, a radio show at her home and her home is really unique. It's like um, built in 1929, but oh, wow. totally Spanish architecture. I mean, it looks like something out of a Western cowboy movie. And uh, we talked about um, how I'm taking the safety measures of, you know, starting to reopen the clinics more. I mean, they never really were shut down more than a couple of weeks, but now that people are itching to get out of the house, I was just talking about, you know, the measures we're taking to keep everyone safe when they do come back, right? Oh, look at this. Watch this. I got a, I got a bright idea. Oh, okay. See, bright idea. Bright idea. I yeah. see that. That's a good one, Doctor Yu. So I what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my notebook, and I'm just going to replay the interview that Joey English, so we could all watch together. That would be awesome, and I'll sit back and eat my fruit that I have and enjoy a video and. Um, and listen to what's going on there. You, you. you know, what she does, she broadcasts the interview on her radio show, so it's going to be perfect. So, yeah, that's an interesting name. Maybe we can get her to come talk with us on our podcast today. Is she radio broadcast or is she? Um, Just radio, yeah, totally radio, yeah. So, does she have the radio antenna at her home? I know a lot of people who do that. No, no, she works with the station and they broadcast her show, but she's like, she's the voice of the desert out here. Okay. There, there are a lot of people like that, um, but I knew a few people who went ahead and bought their own antennas and then they broadcast it. They were able to broadcast from home, um, but there are ways to do it, right? You record from your home into the station and the station broadcasts it. So there are different ways to do it. Yeah, I wonder if you could do it. Uh, well, now a lot of radios like broadcast it online. It's like online, you know, radio. So well, it's all yeah, it's all YouTube, all online. Um, I still like old fashioned radio, right? I still have an old fashioned radio where you tune in and um, and the stations that are still putting out uh, interviews or the AM station. I don't know about the FMs in your area, but the AM. Yeah, AM tends to be more popular. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. For talk shows. I actually have a rate. And Kit, could you get me in on my other computer? See, I'm in the backstage. And then I'll shut uh -oh. my phone off. Yeah. Okay. Going to come There's in. two Dr. U's today, right? <laughs> That's fine. I always say there's two of you because you stay so busy. <laughs> this, is, this is the same. This is the same light uh, which gives lots of lo, lots of wisdom. Yeah, see, I told yeah, you. Yeah, that's his bright, wisdom. I got He's a bright idea. idea. Yeah. Thank you. Thank thank you for the lovely message, Doctor Yu. I know. I know. I think it's beautiful. I think uh, we need. Everybody needs the the light. Yeah. And I need the light. I need it. <laughs> if I didn't make that birthday message, I might not have had the idea. To turn that because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. my computer was at the right angle that day, and I'm like, Look yeah. at that, it's our wonderful, it's beautiful, it's like a sun basically. It looks to me like a small sun, it is, yeah, it does beautiful. look like it. I like it, it's very, very yeah. bright, <laughs> it's very bright. I've got lights in my ceiling, but they and they're good. I mean, I had it all engineered right. You remember where we talked about the difference between a uh, decorator versus a uh, designer? Yeah. And I hired designer, but the lighting still isn't like bright in this house. I have to use lights like for this show. 
But anyway, I'm going to have to end up making me some coffee. And Kit, did you go make some coffee? No, no. Too bad I can't virtually deliver it to you, right? Oh, uh, you did. No, that, you did. Info, for special coffee, we have to visit Dr. You. For the special coffee, we have to visit Dr. You place. We can open well, up yeah. a virtual coffee delivery you yes. know, all over. Yeah. But we just had a virtual coffee experience. So well, yeah, coffee. see, that's an idea. Like, yeah. you know, you can have a barista make the coffee virtually. And then, oh, I'm going to add a little of this, a little of that. And we're going to deliver it to you with a, with a drone. You know? There you go. Wow. Yeah. And I like that idea. It, this will keep and, it and, and, and to add on that, how, how about a coffee bot? Coffee yeah. bot. A coffee yeah. bot. There we go. We can have yeah. a coffee bot to go with our barista. And and could, could you, you, I, I connect to people in. around the world over a cup of coffee. Yeah. Just could you bring, bring me in on my other... My other computer. See, so I'm he needs, I can't see. I can't see. You need to log in, and then only I can. Uh, okay, let me. I'll log out of this. Okay. All righty. Okay. Wow, that's way cool. You yeah. never know. I love. I love when he beams in because you just never know. You're always going to be surprised and, right. and it's exciting um, to see. You know, somebody that gets out there and exercises every day, right? Yeah. He just says, "You know what? I need to exercise." And I know it's my time to dial in, but I'm still going to dial in and uh, we'll, we'll show you how I live because this is how we set the example, right? So when he, True. as you see, he finished riding his bike, he gets his coffee, he takes his time making it, it's healthy, and then he goes yeah. and chills out and drinks it. So, and those are the examples we need, the lifestyles, right? True. All right, Dr. Yu. Yeah, he does. <laughs> there you go. And Kit's got it down now. Can <laughs> hear you. Can, can, can you hear me now, Dr. Yu? I think there's some technical difficulties, and uh, we will soon overcome the difficulties. Dr. Yu, are you there? Dr. Yu, I think you need to. Uh, Let me move. And logged in again, I think. I'll, I'll, I'll try to move to get better internet. Can you hear? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you now. Yeah. Oh, now it's good. Okay. Yeah, now so, it's good. Yeah. Again, uh, you froze down. There is always a problem with internet around the world. That is what we have. Uh, because uh, everyone's <laughs> online, right? Yeah, everyone's online. But you know, Dr. Yu, uh, in India, I, I was reading an article that a lot of uh, uh, big uh, offices, they are closed, and they're not using internet. So we are compensating those uh, office internet with the home internet. So it's not like everyone is live. How about now? We got better connection, right? Yeah. Now, now it's better. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna play my radio interview from yesterday. Let me share the screen. Yeah. So we are about to play a uh, Dr. Yu's radio interview on uh, on a radio channel, which happened yesterday. Uh, just some time uh, before we start the clip. All right. Can you see, um, let's see, could you see my uh, no. YouTube yet? You Can want you me to play on YouTube? All right, share. Here you go. Share. Okay. Nice. Okay, good. Yep. All right, you can see that YouTube? Yeah. Good. All right, so. If you go to library or history, uh, if you have played it earlier, it will pop up. History here? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, let's see, which portion do I want to show? Let's try this one. All of that, you know. Okay. 
What kind of? Can I put in the theater mode, sir? It's June sixth. It's a few minutes after ten o'clock on Saturday, June sixth, and we're going to have a whole series of things to get us healthier, get rid of pain, physical pain, maybe some mental pain, maybe some spiritual pain, maybe some financial pain. But we're going to have a lot of fun talking with and listening to Dr. Philip Yu. Hi, Doctor. Hey, Joey. Nice to see you again. Thank you. It's nice to be with you. Get comfortable. Come a little closer. Okay. This is my desert mom right yes, here. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell us, first of all, where your office is in the desert. Yes, in the desert. Uh, we used to be in Rancho Mirage, but now we are located in the Palm Desert, right across from the JW Marriott, you know, the hotel with the boat inside. Uh, we're in a place where it's East Holy and Cook Street. There's a medical plaza there. There's the VA clinic right there. Um, so we're in that center. Um, so once you go in the main entrance of Cook at the VA clinic building, take a left, you'll see a Dr. Ronald Bush uh, building condo. We're right with the Dr. Bush. We are the Laser Med Institute of the Desert. You'll see Dr. Philip and Associates on the window. We do lots of different things, and we don't want to over overwhelm you. We're going to go slow. We want to talk first about pain, but first of all, tell us you have reopened your office here. How are you doing that? What are the social distancing? What do we have to wear? What are we going to eat? What are we going to <laughs> tell us about opening? Your office? Yeah, so you know, everyone's kind of sick about hearing about COVID and Corona, so I'm going to kind of Let's just call it C19, okay. just for a different feel. So now that you know, it looks like the infection rate of the virus is not as severe as you know some media put it out to be. Yes, people are starting to get out of their homes, and to make it safe for our patients, we're just taking all the social distancing measures. So we're only going to take one patient at a time. Um, you're going to wait in the parking lot. And we're gonna text you when your appointment is up. Um, if you don't have a mask, you know, we have them at the clinic. We have the N95 mask. 95 means it blocks out 95% of particles if you happen to have a virus or bacteria. So if you don't have a mask, we could get one for you at the clinic. Um, and then we can also uh, make sure that you are at least six feet apart um, from the employees and if the other patients are uh, passing by you, because we have markers in the clinic every six feet. Uh, we're going to have hand sanitizer at the entrance, uh, gloves if you'd like. Uh, we have um, sanitation wipes <laughs> right by the door, so you can wipe the door handle as you come in or grab the door handle with the wipe. And then if you come with your spouse, you still will be seated six feet apart. And not because you had a spat that morning, because again, <laughs> we want to maintain the social distancing. And then each person, each patient is going to have their own private treatment bay. We have a semi open office for better airflow. We can open both doors to get great you know, fresh air coming in and out. Um, we're going to get an ozone generator to clean the air. That's why it smells great after the rain. You get the good ions that cleans the air. We have UV lighting. It's just like they use UV lights to kill pathogens, bacteria, Algae. dust, mites, mm -hmm. you know, and we're going to have that unit in the clinic. After all, we are a laser light medicine clinic, so what better way to sanitize your office than UV light, just like a swimming pool? We're talking with Dr. Philip Yu. We're going to start slow, and we'll go over this a few times. Don't worry. And Joan has everything will always be up on joanenglish.com. All the things we talk about, phone numbers, websites, directions, all of that, you know. Okay, what kind of services broadly under the umbrella of your Laser Med Institute? No, Laser Med, pain. Laser Pain Med Institute. Yeah, yeah, laser go. Pain Med Institute. What kind of services? Yeah, so, you know, again, I'm not trying to talk about the coronavirus, but we do uh, happen to offer the rapid test and it's just a finger prick and in 10 minutes it tells you if, if you have the antibodies to the virus now that means it tells you if you've been exposed or not 
Well, it not only tells you exposed or not, if you had a recent infection, which means you've been infected for a couple days, that would mean you have... Maybe, uh, no, maybe no symptoms yet. Uh, yes, if you have a strong immune system, you may be a carrier, you may be contagious, which means you're shedding the virus, and that's called IgM. Think about McDonald's, fast food. Yeah. You've had it fast recently. And that means you should self-quarantine so don't infect others, even if you're not symptomatic. If you are symptomatic, cough, fever, sore throat, just we can provide some zinc, um, high dose vitamin C, vitamin D3, um, you know, just gargle your mouth and throat with hydrogen peroxide. And, and I'm going to teach you about alkaline water. There you go. As we go through this. Yeah. And that is a part of our program. Um, so, yeah. And that's how we can knock the virus out. Yeah. So, if you have IgG antibodies, that means you've had the You've been carrying the virus for more than two weeks or so. And if you're not symptomatic, you've developed the antibodies and immunity. And theoretically, you're safe to go out in the public. Okay. Now, if you have both IgG and IgM, it means you've had the infection for a little while and you're still contagious. And if you're asymptomatic, you're starting to develop immunity. You should still quarantine at home so you do not infect others, okay? Now, do you charge for that test? Okay, so right now, um, if you're a current patient, um, you get a reduced rate on that. Um, the original rate, the going rate is like 119. That's what LabCorp charges for the nasal test. But I don't like the nasal test, swab test, because it's very uncomfortable yes. to put a long Q-tip you could gag in your nose or cause a nosebleed. And I don't think it's as accurate because that can only detect if you have a colony of the virus in your nasal pharynx. Like what if the infection was in your mouth or your throat and you just swab the back of the nose, you might miss it. So really, if you do both, it's most accurate, but the most non-invasive convenient way is just a little finger prick. It's like a pregnancy test, cholesterol, very, very convenient. So Okay, let's recap. We are starting off with all the services we're going to learn about it. Don't say anything. Laser Pain Med Institute. I got it right. Okay, the first thing is you can get a 10-minute test for the COVID-19. What other services? Yeah. Oh, and that is a reduced rate of 97 just for our our Joey listeners, okay? And then we also have the, the pain management services. We don't use drugs, injection, surgery. Um, a lot of people that we can measure pain with uh, are really soft wave laser therapy. What the laser does, it stimulates uh, the body to heal itself. It's called photobiomodulation. The best way I could explain it is we all need a, at least 20 minutes exposure to the sun to make vitamin D3. And vitamin D3 does what? It boosts your immune system, enhances it. Oh, by the way, I'm not allowed to make any claims, you know, this information is not meant to diagnose, mitigate, or treat any of the disorders that we'll talk about. They're for educational purposes purpose anyways. But what I can say is this is what I would do for chronic pain. Okay, and out here we have a lot of golfers yeah. with a lot of different aches and pains that come from golfing. So you would be a great source for that. Okay, so the COVID test, pain. Now, what's your educational background? You have a background in chiropractic. So uh, my, I got a Bachelor of Science in Health Education and Human Performance from Michigan State University. Go Michigan. Yeah, and so after that, um, I had injured my back, all right, doing a movement called the deadlift in the gym too much too soon. So I uh, went to the local chiropractor, and he took an x-ray, and I noticed my spine was crooked because my gold chain was crooked, right? And then after he adjusted me a few months, it was straight, my back pain went away. So I became a chiropractor, and after that, I, I got my international chiropractic sports diploma to be certified sports chiropractic physician. And then I was chosen to treat athletes at the 2008 Olympic Games, where another sports doctor had a laser, and he was getting these good results on these Olympic athletes. So I came back to California, opened up a few laser clinics, and then added more modalities like the laser guided stem cell therapy. Or we getting yes, I can't wait. excellent results. Uh, we had a couple, you know, they're from Kansas City, but they're snowbirds, uh, Bob and Helen. So Bob had a lot of sciatic pain, low back pain shooting down his leg, didn't want surgery. So 
So after the laser guide to stem cell, now he's back to playing golf three times a week. You know, static is you know pretty much gone. Um, Helen had bone on bone knee pain, couldn't squat, forget about walking on the golf course up and down hills. She did the laser guide to stem cell. I'll be honest, she actually it worked for a little while, but then it stopped working. So what we did, we decided to use another product called Umbilical Cord, Warden's Jelly Derived, Extra Vesicles Therapy. Is that like cord blood? Well, it's it's called an exosome. It's a it's a micro vesicle that the stem cell releases, which happens to carry the healing messages called RNA to the target tissue to her knee, mm -hmm. and then her knee stops swabbing, starts stop throbbing that night, oh and now God. she can go back and play golf. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I'm keeping straight. The COVID test, pain medication. We're going to talk as we go forward, Joey Pals, about the stem cell because I've always been a fan of that. Yeah. Now, do you chiropractic adjustments as we think of those? Do you do those traditional adjustments? So, because most of our uh, clientele are baby boomers or seniors, a lot of them they be very careful about doing a traditional chiropractic manipulation, okay. the pretzel, the twisting, a lot of people don't like the cracking. So we we gently uh, adjust the spine through a device called Arthrostim. It's like kind of like a, a gun, it looks like a gun. It has forks and gently taps the vertebra back in place, massages the muscle, the vibration relaxes you. So Wasn't that called a facilitator or something? Activator. Activator, that was it. Yeah, but this is, uh, this is more, it's electronics, you kind of like, uh, it pulses more yes. gently instead of having to use your thumb, you'll wear it out. So uh, that's another way I got out of adjusting with my hands because it wore me out, my back and my wrists. Right. But the instrument adjusted uh, spinal manipulation, everyone loves it. It's very gentle and effective. We also use a machine called decompression, mm -hmm. so it gently stretches your spine apart if you have a pinched nerve. Yes. And we got a special one called Back on Track. Not only does it stretch out straight, if you have a pinched nerve on the left or right, guess what? It twists you on the right and the left to open up that leftist space and the right. Oh my goodness, this is all the latest stuff. Now, do you do something, is this like a massage? So uh, the only, we do have these instrument assisted soft tissue massage or myofascial release therapy. It sounds like it would be lovely. Yeah, so think about like a, a bicycle handlebar. It's, it's, it's nice and curved and we'd roll it, let's say on your leg like this or your back or knee muscles and it would gently, kind of like you are kneading a dough, mm -hmm. right, kind of spread that tight muscle and, and relax it and break those adhesions up. Instead of having to dig your elbow or thumb like a deep tissue massage, can be painful. It's a gentle way to relax the muscles. So, instrument assisted massage therapy combined with the laser massage can be done at the same time. The laser warms up your fascia and warms up your muscles and just melts all that tension away, especially in the trapezius muscles. At your neck, your shoulders. Exactly. And those, those triangular muscles that run down the side of your neck to your shoulders. Well, everybody's got. So much stress going on right now because we've done shows, Doctor, about people living with each other 24-7 and the kids are home. And maybe your in-laws are there too. And wherever they were on March 18th, they still are. We're starting to open up. But we've read and done shows on divorce rates, climbing. Yes. The stress is terrible. We have people who have not been out of their homes in over three months. And that's not the human condition. That's not good for us. We're huggers and touchers and talkers. And exactly. We want to be together. So you can really deal. If someone has one of our Joey pals has a lot of stress going on, you could really help. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to play the rest of that interview. And right here. Can you still see? Actually go somewhere and get really gentle high technological treatments with our you know, instrument assisted, our laser massage, our pulse electromagnetic field therapy, which relaxes your nervous system. And if you need to, the you know, umbilical cord derived stem cells to gently you know, get your body de-stressed. 
Um, because when you're in pain, it puts you in a sympathetic fight or flight state, yes. right? You can't rest or digest. That's right. So we got to relax the nervous system, get you in that parasympathetic state so you can sleep, melt your pain away. And guess what? You'll be more pleasant to your family members. So, yeah. See, you're helping to beautify Palm Springs. Now, I hear you at home, Joey Pals. Do you know a phone number for Palm? Do you know your local number here? Anybody? So, Omar, look. Yeah, 760. 537. 537. 4929. 4929. 537. 4929. This will all be up on Joey English. Empire. Also be up on. The Joey English Network, which is what I call our white pages. Do you take any insurances? So um, you would have to bring your insurance, mainly your PPO, mm -hmm. and we can give you what's called a super bill. It's a, basically a, a summary of all the services you've had and paid for, and then we'd have the, all the diagnostic codes, and you would submit that to your insurance company. So we like to focus on patient um, quality service, not – Fighting the insurance company, so we make it very convenient for you. So just bring your card, and then we'll give you your super bowl after. It makes it easier on everybody. We're, we're all in fun in favor of easy. Okay, we've talked too long, but it was easy, wasn't it? What is that gadget for next time? So uh, the next show we're going to talk about, because all the gyms are closed, yes. and a lot of people don't want to invest a lot of bulky, expensive home equipment. Um, this is... Bodybuilding in a bag. Next um, time. Yeah. Okay, the website is drphilipu.com. So dr philip with two L's Y O O dot com. This will all be up on Joey English. The number again, Omar, is 760 537 537 4929. 4929. Thank you. We'll slowly we'll get better on all so many levels. Thank you so much. Sharing the heartbeats. I feel better already. Joey, it's been a blast. Let's do it again. <laughs> All right. What happened? I think he, he somehow I think uh, he uh, he clicked the wrong button and then he went out. Oh no! I was enjoying the the interview, but they were wrapping up, right? They they just finished, yeah. and it was. Um, so lovely. I mean, to, to hear, we're not the only ones, you know, that in LA, all the, all the radio stations, everybody wants to know, how do we do this? Yes. And, uh, you know, Dr. Yu, that was lovely. Were we, were we yeah. Did you guys see the whole interview? Yes, yeah. we did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, oh. she just said goodbye when you beamed out. You, I, I think you, you clicked the wrong button and that's okay. why you went. Okay. But yeah. she just said goodbye. It was so weird. And we're like, Wow, that was weird. Yeah. But, um, no, lovely, lovely woman. Oh my gosh, the voice of the desert. How cool, right? And you know her, right? This is somebody you you know. Yeah. Uh huh. So she came to my clinic to interview me last year, and then I took a break from her show. But now that you know we're starting to get out of COVID, um, we said let's do another show. Let's let's teach people how to get out of the house. But also teach them a lot of exercise if they're stuck in the house. Well, the gyms are still closed. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, and this is one of the things uh, that I was, I was thrilled, you know, like doing the yoga, right? That's something that doesn't take up a whole lot of space. You can do it in in outside. But well, tomorrow backyard. we're going to do yoga with the katsu bands on. Right. Yes. Yeah. And by yeah. the way, I need to get a katsu man. I want to buy one. Yeah, so Andrew, my web geek, is you know he put he put it on our products page, but he hasn't put the order button yet. So I'll let okay. you know what's up and you know make sure you get the the special rate. Okay. Thanks. Because I, I, I want to wear it while I'm doing TV interviews. Oh, I do it. Oh, yeah. It's I put when you're when you have Zoom meetings all day. I put it on. And everyone's just sitting. I'm the only one moving around. They're Paul, what are you doing? Well, I'm exercising while I'm doing my Zoom meetings, you know? Right. I, and I do it like if I beam out, you know, I'll I'll get up and run for yeah. a second. And yeah. uh, because I sit too much, my legs swell up. Yeah. Um, but I will tell you this, that I'm interested in working with you on that because the doctors at Duke have bought that machine while they sit at their desk. 
that they do yeah. this all day long with their feet. They bought it for every doctor. Yeah, this is better. It's a lot better. Right. And so I want to share this with them because, but they're that kind of medical center that will buy their doctor's tools that they can use themselves, right? That, um, yeah, well, if I'll have Andrew put that up, you could get one, you can go demo it for them. Yeah. And, I'm, um, yeah, I mean, even maybe get them to do sponsor research project on it, you know? Well, and here's another thing, you know, I, because we learned at the very beginning of all of this, that people are put on ventilators, you know, the you know, majority of them do not survive a ventilator, about 20%. And I learned through research is because it doesn't get all the oxygen to all the organs it needs. And I'm asking why can't, if we've known that this has existed for a long time, why isn't there some way that we can pump oxygen to all, and maybe this could do that because this is delivering nitric oxide through the body. Well, this and that helmet, the hyperbaric helmet. The helmet that I like, right? Well, you know. I haven't shown that to Ann Kit but once. I need to get that back up. Ann Kit, do you know the helmet that we're talking about? I, uh, it looks like a halo. It lo it's really cool. And it, it, really? it, it just, yeah, it's really Is cool. Is it the one with the, with the white color helmet? It's clear. It's clear and it okay. comes around your whole body it, and, it, wow. and it fits and it's an oxygen uh, helmet. Um, he's got them and I think they're beautiful. I want one just to wear. Um, but I, I think it's uh, definitely the, um, the way of the future because I also think, I'm not quite sure how heavy it is, but I think it's something that we could wear as PPE if it was designed right, right? But it's designed to put oxygen in. I'll see if I can find the photo. But Kim, uh, I was uh, thinking about having a medical museum uh, where we can have those medical equipments uh, showcasing for people and yeah. also create awareness that what to use and what not to use because a lot of uh, things are not available and approachable for the general public. No, and I if we have a virtual museum or if we can have a virtual show discussing about only medical equipment, which is good for, uh, I mean, uh, patients, doctors, everyone. I mean, that could be wonderful. No, the the uh, oxygen helmet to me. I, I want to see if I can find the photo. And it, Kim, uh, I was watching that video of uh, of the space uh, X uh, uh, with the helmet and what kind of food they have developed. It's different from what the NASA yeah. had done. Yeah, there you go. It's hard to wow. see. It's hard to see, but yeah. yeah. So it fits around your head and body, right, right wow. here. And the oxygen goes in, and so it's not in your nose, or you know, you're naturally breathing in the healthy um, oxygen. You know, because they got those tubes that go in your nose, and um, but this is better, more natural way of getting the oxygen. A better, better picture of it. But I like it for PPE equipment. I think it'd be cool if we had that hood for PPE equipment. What do you think, Ankit? <laughs> I, I think, think uh, that would be great. I think we need that at the dollar store. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what an entree. <laughs> you know, we um, we just finished uh, an, an hour with Dr. Yu where he starts out by he's riding his bike, right? <laughs> and then he takes us in and teaches us how to make this most nutritional coffee drink that you should drink throughout the day. And so we've walked through the whole process of this coffee that's made out of Irish butter. And yeah, <laughs> but it's healthy. 